In this video, I'm going to show you three simple ways to add or embed PDFs to your WordPress site. They're all a little bit different. They all provide different functionality to the visitor. So which one you choose is up to you. But this will be three different ways you can do it. One of these, I can guarantee you, is going to work for you. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress. So you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and learn these three ways to embed your PDFs. I'll see you there. The first method I'm going to show you is one of the most flexible for your visitors, and I'm going to show you how to just embed a PDF link into a page or a post that the user can then use in whichever way they want. So to do this, we just go to a page or post, or we add a new one, which I'm going to do. I'm going to call it PDF Embed, and then I'm going to click into the code editor here. I'm going to click on Add Media. And I'm going to upload a file, I have a very simple PDF file that I have already. Just drag and drop it into here. Once you've dragged and dropped it, you can update the title, the caption, description if you want to, or just leave them as they are. So there we have our file in there. And down below we have an attachment display settings area. We want to link to the actual media file. And it provides that link down here as well for interest sake. Then click on insert into post. And now we have a link to a media file on the site. We publish this page and then take a look at the page on the live site with the link. We have this link right here. Now the reason this is the most flexible is because people can either right click on it and click on save as and download it right to the computer. If they're using a modern browser, they can just click on this link and it'll open the link in a PDF viewer in the browser. They have a bunch of tools they can use. They can zoom in, they can zoom out, they can go full screen wide and then full screen height. So one page shows per screen. They can rotate it using this button here. They can download it, they can print it. So they've got a lot of options in modern browsers. So if we click on back and go to this page, all we have as you saw, is just a link. You might want to add more text, like maybe download. You can just add it right in here as the anchor text, download service contract, PDFs, so people know what they're actually clicking on. It's going to update that. So that's the first way you can include PDFs in a page for people to download or view. The second way involves embedding the PDFs so it's right in the page. And we do that with a plugin. We head over to plugins and then add new. Search for PDF embed or embedder. This is the one I use in the top here. There are a lot of options, so pick the one that you think is good for you. I find this one to be great. It's compatible with the latest version. I'm gonna install it and then click on activate. So we don't have to customize any settings for this plugin. It actually works right out of the box right after it's activated, but we do have to redo this embed. So if we go back to the editor, I'm just gonna leave that code there so we can compare it. I'm gonna click on add media and select the PDF I just uploaded. Here we have a new item added, track downloads and views with PDF Embedder Premium. So you pay some money, you can track how many downloads you get. I'm gonna show you how to do that for free as the next option for embedding PDFs, so ignore that for now. I'm gonna click on Insert into Post to reinsert the same PDF. Now we have a short code, which we know is a short code because of the square brackets at the beginning and the end. So this short code is going to show the PDF as an embed. I'm gonna click on Update. Now head out to the main page and refresh it again. Now we have the PDF viewable right in the page. And if there are multiple pages, you'll be able to scroll through it. You can zoom in and out, navigate from page to page using these buttons if you don't want to scroll. And that's the PDF embed. And here's our original link up here still on this page. And now I'm going to show you the last way that I want to show you, which is actually the coolest way. And I'm going to go head over back to plugins and then add new. And then I'm going to search for Download Manager. This is the one I use right in the top left here. The Download Monitor also works very well, but it's not compatible with the current version of WordPress, but it has a lot of good reviews, a lot of active installs. Currently compatible, lots of great views, lots of installs. I'm gonna click on Install Now to give it a row, and then Activate. Now the Download Manager, there's a premium version also, so they try to sell you stuff right here. The thing with the Download Manager is there's a lot more options. They actually add a new menu option called Downloads, where you can do a bunch of stuff. And the first thing we want to do is add a new file. So I'm going to go to add new. I'm going to call this service contract PDF. And on the right hand side is where we attach the file. We can either upload a file or drag and drop it right into this little box here. 
or we can click on Browse, which takes us to the root directory of our website where we can upload a file that's on the website if we want to. But I'm gonna drag and drop our contract into that box there. Now up here it shows the file that we have attached. You can attach multiple if you want. You can add a description here if you want. If we scroll down to the very bottom, we have package settings. We can set a version number if we want, a link label, file size that's allowed, stock limit, meaning how many times are people allowed to download this? Not individually, but collectively. If you only want this PDF to be downloadable 10 times, enter the number 10 in here. Then it'll stop at 10 downloads. View count, this will show how many times this PDF has been viewed, how many times it's been downloaded, who do you want to allow access to, either all visitors, or if you click in here, there's a bunch of user categories that you have on your site where you can pick which users are allowed to see it. If you have a membership site, you can pick membership levels. Which page template does this appear on? It's gonna put on the post template and the lock options. We can have them agree to terms of service. Password unlock, CAPTCHA unlock. Depends how you wanna do it. Just check the box and go through the settings. Settings are really simple. Like just fill in these fields, literally that simple. And then they have to click the I agree button before they can actually download. You can choose a different icon. It has a PDF icon by default for PDFs, but you can choose any one of these icons to appear beside the link. I'm gonna click on publish to actually add this to our download manager. And now we click on all files and that will show us all the files we currently have on the site, including a short code. So this short code right here is gonna be for the file we just uploaded. I copy that. Going to head back to our page, edit this post, and right in between these two embed options, I just pasted in the short code we just copied. Click on update. Now I'll come back out here and refresh this page. Now we have the raw download link with no plugins, the download monitor download link here, and the embed. Now, one of the other perks of having this download monitor is that it obfuscates the actual link to the PDF. So people can't see the real link they just get to download the document. If you hover over this, you can see down in the address bar, at the very bottom of the page, you can see the actual URL of the PDF. If we go over this download, we do not see the actual URL, we just see a hashtag, and that's it. If we click on download, it downloads just as any PDF would, and then we can view it on our hard drive. It doesn't open it in a viewer, it always downloads it. And then if we head back into the all files section, and because we just downloaded this PDF, we have a one here, and that one means one download. And that keeps incrementing up so you can see how many times a certain PDF was downloaded. And then say this was you testing it, and you don't want that to count towards your total. You go back into the edit screen, scroll down, and set these back to zero. Update, go back to all files, and we see it's back to zero. Additionally, there's a history tab. So if we click onto the history, we can see what was downloaded and the IP address of who downloaded it and when it was downloaded. And there's also tags and categories. So if you have a lot of files that you're using this download manager for, you can categorize them and tag them to keep things more organized. So that's the free version of the download manager, which is more than enough for most people's needs. And if you have a membership site, you can even lock the pages for this download. So you probably will never even need the premium version unless they start taking features out of the free one like people do sometimes. So those are three simple ways to embed PDFs. I'm pretty sure one of those is going to work for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe. Then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of the videos that appear on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.